Hello, this is Dr. Elena Martil with Pharmacy Basics, coming to you with a video all about if pharmacy is for you. My pharmacy prospects, I need you to do one thing for me. Go down below right now and comment, why do you think pharmacy is for you? My practicing pharmacists, my interns, and my veterans. What made you so sure that pharmacy was for you? I need you all to stop this video right now, go to the comment section, and give me your thoughts. And while you're in it, make sure you click that subscribe button. Pharmacists are the medication experts, so that means that they have to know everything, literally everything there is to know about most medications. Okay, okay. Maybe not everything, but you better know the most common and the most important things there is to know at least about the top 200 drugs. And if you don't know it, you need to know where to go to find that information. There are primary and tertiary resources for that matter, but that's another topic for another day. Pharmacists have a ton of responsibilities, mainly due to the fact that they have the highest position in the pharmacy. So having leadership skills are highly recommended in this profession. In last week's video, I talked about how pharmacists prepare and dispense prescriptions. They ensure medicines and doses are correct. They prevent harmful drug interactions from happening. And they even counsel patients on safe and appropriate uses of their medication. And while all of that is true, there is so much more to pharmacy, I promise you. Like for example, in retail settings, pharmacies assist patients in solving problems, such as identifying old medications or even finding an over-the-counter solution to minor health issues. Pharmacies are also trained to give at least most of all vaccines. In institutional settings, pharmacists collaborate with physicians to discuss potential incompatibilities with patient prescriptions. They even recommend therapies for patients based off of their presentations, their labs, and their diseases. In the research settings, pharmacists provide pharmacological, pharmacodynamics, pharmacokinetic analysis to drug developers and manufacturers who are running clinical trials so they can come out with a new drug. And in any particular setting, a pharmacist literally is the patient's therapist, their pastor, and their Lord and Savior. Give me a thumbs up if you know what I mean. Pharmacists also have to maintain accurate counts of inventory, especially those controls. In some settings, technicians are responsible for that counting, but pharmacists have to come behind them for confirmation. Now, a pharmacist's role can vary from company to company and even from state to state. So it is the pharmacist's duty to be aware of what duties they can and cannot perform under certain jurisdictions. Whew, that was a mouthful. I know it was a lot, but I hope you didn't think that pharmacists just count pills. <laughs> Whew. Needless to say, don't overwhelm yourself with all of this information. Roles and responsibilities are discussed literally from the first day to the last day of pharmacy school. So by the time that you graduate, study for the MPJE, and train for your first job, you would definitely know your role. Pharmacy prospects. Was this information helpful to you? If so, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you will be notified about all the further videos to come up. Also, let me know in the comment section below if you would like me to share why I chose pharmacy and why I feel that pharmacy is for me. Last but not least, my pharmacy veterans. Did I miss anything? Is there any information that you think I should have put in this video that I didn't? Please comment that down below. I value your input as for it can help me and future pharmacists. Again, this is Dr. Elena Martil with Pharmacy Basics. I'll see you next week. Have a blissful and busy day. Oh, yeah, I'll be my face. Moving fast cause I'm Uber on the way.